she worked with ice cream in Jakarta. Uh, uh, where you start to, to begin your art? Do you want to do it over there? Oh, okay, let's do it over there. Lantina, where are you? So, uh, uh, what you most Yeah, come on, come on, girl. How did you start to do the shooting of your pictures? The photography? Yeah, the photography. Um, God, I started in high school. Uh, you, you know, you, you take a class, you learn how to print your own photos, uh, you go to a graveyard, you shoot, you know, graves like every high schooler does as his first project. Um, and then, uh, you know, I started doing other things with my hands, and uh, then, you know, it, I started traveling all the time, and so it's, it's, there's no real time to do sculptures or anything like that, and I just got more into photography, um, um, I just kept going with it, yeah. And okay. what is uh, your favorite pictures? Oh, uh, here? Or the show? God, they're all so different, they're all different uh, stories, I, mean, I have history with everybody here. I think this one I like the best, maybe. That, this that has one? Crazy, the green one, yeah. That was in a maximum security prison in Moscow. I did a movie with Andrei Konchalovsky and Chris Salomina out there. And um, that was like four, four floors below ground. And that's the, that's <gasps> the two prisoners in the prison um, in a kitchen. And they're making food and a guard would go by and beat the walls and say, get out of there, because we're filming. And uh, when the guard left, I'm like, Phew. And these two guys came around the corner, and then this little kitten ran out. And I, I was sitting there waiting, and like, shh, shh. but it looks like a posed photograph, but it's totally not. And they look like two sailors. They look like supermodels. Yeah. No, it, they it, look it, like it, a boys working in a boat. Yeah, it looks like some Vogue shoot, but it's not. And yeah. it's for a story below the ground, where they yeah, live, where was, they it was are. It's in a maximum security prison yeah. like in Moscow. Yeah. It's no joke. <laughs> yeah. And how did you get the authorization to go? Because you were filming inside the because prison. Because okay. Andrei Konchalovsky is a huge Russian director. Yeah. Um, his brother actually sang the new national anthem. I mean, he, he, he gets to go places there that other people don't get to go. So because I was in the film with him, we got to go under there and shoot. And it was really, you don't want to get arrested in Russia. No. Ever. Yeah. It was it was hardcore. And this yeah. one, uh, who's the writer of that? The, uh, the black one. The black one. Yeah. Yeah. That was. I was in uh, Berlin for the Berlin Film Festival, and a friend of mine played a concert and said, "Come to the concert." And so I, I, I said, "I have to be back at the hotel because I have to meet a director from uh, Denmark." And I ended up going to. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's for Valentino. But the uh, I went to the concert and then I got in their car to go back back to uh, back to the uh, hotel to meet the director and on the way there I got hit by a truck and I flew through the window of the car and woke up in a hospital so I have a metal eye socket okay. and so I was going I had surgery after surgery after surgery. And then me and the director that I never met started emailing each other. And I was like, I'm in a hospital. She's like, I'm in a hospital getting knee surgery. So we would have these crazy conversations because we were still on morphine or what all the other things. And um, she ended up making a movie about it called Meet Me in Berlin, which was a short film that won the Danish Film Festival. So the whole thing's, the whole thing's uh, documented in a film, oh. which is weird. Yeah, that's, that's nice. what that is. That's, that's like post, post the first surgery. So as swelling would go down, I'd have another surgery. But this is all metal. And I have four screws in my nose as well. But it makes my, it makes, I'm sensitive to light, which is why I always have sunglasses on. Oh, okay. And tell us uh, about, let's say, this one. This girl there on the right side. This one. Well, this is the same girl. All okay. four of these. Oh, yes. And that's a friend of mine that um, I <laughs> bound and gagged and wrapped in duct tape and put baby powder all over her in an elevator. But it was sort of uh, like Joel Peter Wicken. He's a big, I'm a big fan of his photographs where he sets up the photographs and he spends, you know, hours and hours doing it and then he puts the person in the photograph. So it's, they're all kind of set up. And they told this story, it was for a, 
it was for a campaign for global warming, which is why you see like the global warming tape in there. And they wanted a series of photos to like show like you know the decay of the planet through global warming, and I just interpreted it into torturing this poor friend of mine. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Merci. As you said. Merci. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay. Tout filmé.